Great. Thank you so much. So I've started by asking you guys, of which nobody gave me a response. Those people have got experience with mortgages. Or, for example, if you have uh, relatives who have ever taken mortgages, or even friends who have ever taken mortgages, do they recommend mortgages as a way of creating wealth? Or are they telling you that, hey, mortgages from the word mortgage, death sentence, that this is a very, very bad thing. Remember, mortgage is where you, as a young man or a young lady, will go and take, for example, a loan of, say, 30 years, and then, of course, you use the, the house, use property as collateral, use property as collateral over a long period of time, like 20, 30 years, 20, 30 years. Now, then I would want us to assume a good apartment in Kileleshua, a good apartment in Kileleshua will be going for how much? Can somebody, somebody knows? A good apartment in Kileleshua, I think two-bedroom, the house, in Kileleshua would go for 15 million. They are two-bedroom, a good apartment. All right, and then you take this as a loan. We say you are paying this loan uh, over how many years? Yeah, number of years. Number of years. Let's talk of 10 years to be... 10 years. Then we have in this case here interest per annum. So interest, interest, interest rate, PA, interest per annum. So let's be a bit uh, conservative. We give it at 18%, 18%. Now, as a gentleman, we are required here to do three things. We are required here to calculate the monthly payments, the monthly installments, that's number one. How much do we calculate? Or rather, how much shall we be paying on a monthly basis if we get this kind of a loan? And then number two, they want us to do a loan amortization schedule, two things. And they brought this question in the BDA last semester. This was really a very easy question. Very easy question. So the gentlemen, I've been given a loan of how much? 15 million. Knowing its number of years, 10 years. 10 years. Then we have interest in this case here per annum, 18%. They want monthly installments. So first of all, I have to get in this case here norm. I have to get what we call norm. Norm, these are number of months. Number of months. So how many months do we have in total in these 10 years? Guys, you have to talk to me. How many months do we have in these 10 years? How many months do we have in these 10 years? Yeah, thank you so much. So in this case, I'll come and say equals because in Excel, I have to begin with equals. So I'll say equals, and then I take in this case the number of years, and I know that each year has got uh, how many months? Each year has got 12 months. So I say enter like that. 120 is correct. And then because they are making monthly installments, even this interest has to be interest per month, not per annum. So I must come here and do int, int, pn interest per month. So very easy. I have to start because I'm dividing. That's still a function. I'm dividing, so I must start this thing with equals. So I'll be able to say equals. This is annual rate. And because I want monthly rate, so I'll divide this by what year? By 12 like that. Now, once I've been able to do that as an gentleman, now I have the total loan given today, 15 million. No, is number of years, 10 years. Interest per annum, 18%. Number of months will be 120 because 10 times 12. And then interest per month will be 1.5%. Then the first question they want me to give them is the installments. Installment per month. So the installment per month, this is basically what we call the PMT. Close bracket. The PMT function, PMT stands for what we call payment. So this payment, how do we calculate it? It's very easy. It's uh, straight away in Excel. So I'll be able to say equals, it's PMT. I want to use PMT function, PMT. This calculates the payment for a loan based on a constant payment and a constant interest rate. It calculates the payment for a loan. It's telling us PMT is very, very important. So you need to come here, ladies and gentlemen, and they say what year you tap. Then you pick the monthly rate, interest rate per month. You're following this thing here. You say comma. Then we have number of periods, which are the number of months. How many of them? 120, comma. Then we have the present value. Present value in this case is 15 million, the loan that is being given today. And remember this schedule, 
is normally done from the perspective of what year, what the bank is doing. So the bank is giving out this money, this 15 million. So when it's giving out the money, then from the eyes of the bank, it's a negative cash flow. So I have to say negative, negative here. This PV should be negative here, negative 15 million, like that. And then you close brackets and then you say enter. So it means that uh, if I take a 15 million loan over this number of months, every year, every month, I mean, I'll be paying 270,277. So is there somebody who was able to get this value? Please, I would want to see my students here dancing. If you're able to get this, but they gave us this question last semester. This was really, really easy. All my students right now, as you're marking, all my students are really, this is easy peasy. Easy peasy. Everybody will be able to pass here. All right. So I'm looking at the comments to see whether there is any ninja who wants me to repeat. Ah, great. And then remember our tradition, Bridget, we should be able to dance a little bit as accountants. Whenever we get these right, these things right, we need to dance a little bit. Now, then, ladies and gentlemen, once I've gotten this, how do I do a loan amortization schedule? Very easy. Two minutes. Loan amortization. Loan amortization schedule. Loan amortization schedule. So, first of all, I have to do, in this case here, a sequence of all these number of months, 1 to 20. I have to write this sequence down. How do I write it? I will come and say equals. So I say sequence, sequence, sequence and the series. In form three, you may have avoided the sequence and the series. They're thematic, geometric progression. Now you're getting them here. But fortunately here, it's Excel doing sequence, right? So I can see sequence here. So I'll be able to come and say tab. So sequence is there. So rows, how many months do we have? 120. Nothing more, nothing less. I'll simply, don't even close bracket. I'll simply hit enter. And then remember always to leave space here for zero. Zero, like that. All right. So if I say, ladies and gentlemen, in this case, that I would want to see whether I've gone all the way to 120. It's very easy. Control, down arrow. You can see it has gone all the way to 120. I'm telling you, I'm so happy. So do we have anybody who has a computer that does not have that sequence thing? Anybody who has a computer which doesn't have that sequence thing? Anybody who has a computer that doesn't have that sequence thing, please talk to me. Sequence for writing, I mean, very, very important here. Because at times the examiner may tell you to write number one up to 10,000. If you don't have sequence functionality, if you don't have sequence functionality, Aaron, then you will be in big problems. You will be in big, big problems. Fortunately, RCM is able to make arrangements here with our local partners here for a very small fee. You guys now have this Excel 2021. If you don't have Excel 2021, you don't have the sequence function. You don't have the sequence function. And all my students must get this 2021. This 2021. I'll not show you the old styles. No, no. So unfortunately, the students who do not have this 2021, they will be able to just... Uh, Look at what we are doing, all right? But do we have anybody now who has? Henry, I'll be able to tell you how you get it there. Eh? I'll be able to tell you how you will get it. I will be able to tell you how you will get it. Very easy. All right, so then I'll come and repeat here pretty fast, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing something very nice here. So I'll come and repeat here. What have you done, Mwalimu? What I've done here, if I say control shift down, I simply say the read, I go back. So I will skip always one line here. I can even skip two of them because I may want to put titles. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you'll be able to add rows as much as you want. Right? So in that case here, I want to do a sequence. So equals sequence. 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 I double click or I tab. So rows, how many rows downwards? 120. I say enter. Then I write zero here, like that. So of course, this is time. Eh? If you don't have space, you can either delete this thing or you can simply come here. If you don't have space, you can simply come and highlight this one. When you highlight like now that, you can create whatever spaces you want to create. 
by saying control shift add you can see i'm adding as many as i wish so you can use this concept of control so you take control control plus shift and then we have here equals or add basically we are, we are, we are shifting to add we are shifting to add to add to add a row or a column to add a row or a column to add a row or a column so simply if i come and say control z z z aha uh -huh. I hope you guys have been able to see that. All right. So you can easily add, I mean, you come, if you want to drop this down, you simply highlight the whole row. You simply come here like that. You highlight that where zero is, where you want to add a new row. So you keep on saying control shift down arrow as much as you wish. And then you'll be able to create now column titles here. So like now this is the time, number of months. All right. I'll be interested in what you call the opening. Load balance. The opening balance, the opening balance. I will be interested in knowing, ladies and gentlemen, the PMT, how much should be paid on a monthly basis. All right, I'll be interested in getting the PMT. I'll be interested in the interest, monthly interest, monthly interest. I will be interested, ladies and gentlemen, in what we call what here, uh, the principal, principal amount, principal amount. And then we have, ladies and gentlemen, what we call uh, the loan balance, closing balance. So closing, closing balance, closing balance, closing balance, like that. So can I kindly get to know whether you guys have been able to reach where Mwalimu has reached? Can I get to know whether you guys have been able to reach where Mwalimu has reached? Let me know whether you guys have been able to reach where Mwalimu has reached. Can I know whether you guys have been able to reach where Mwalimu has reached? All right. So time zero, time zero, time zero, time zero, time zero. What do we know about time zero? We shall work with the, or rather with the amount we have, what we have borrowed here. So time zero, we shall come and say equals, how much have we borrowed here? 15 million. I mean, I'll be able to show you something very interesting here. Time zero, 15 million. All right. Then come in this case here to time one. Time one, of course, we shall open with what we began with. Like that. From there, do we have the PMT? Do we have the PMT? I'll still leave those dollars there. I'll show you how to format those things later. But for now, I will assume you're working with dollars. So do we know the PMT? PMT is the payment. How much are we paying on a monthly basis? It is here. And whatever we are paying on a monthly basis is going to be constant throughout. So if it's going to be constant throughout, what should I do to show that constancy? If it's going to be constant throughout, what should I do to show that constancy? Somebody talk to me, somebody. Remember, we are supposed to be getting a present here to show that constancy. What am I supposed to do, ladies and gentlemen, here to show that constancy? Dollarization. It is FN, F4. You press that F4 on top to lock. You dollarize. You put dollars all over. From there, I got the next one. Can somebody talk to me tonight? What do you think shall I do to be able to get the interest? What do you think shall I do to be able to get the interest amount? Please talk to me. What do you think shall I do to be able to get the interest amount? Interest, you're right. I will come and, you know, interest will always be pegged on the opening balance. Interest will always be pegged on the opening balance. So I will take the opening balance, I say, times the rate of interest per month, this one here. And this rate of interest per month will never change. The rate of interest per month will remain the same throughout. So if it is going to remain the same throughout for sure, I know I need to come and dollarize it. I need to come and, in this case here, block it. There is a gentleman. After I do that, I will be able to get the principal amount. How do I get the principal? I know that the payment I make every day covers two things. The payment I pay every month covers two things. It covers the interest and the principal. So basically, interest plus principal equals PMT. So to get the principal, to get the principal, 
to get the principal, to get the principal, you shall always take the payment and then you say minus the interest. Minus the interest. So anytime you want to get the principal, ladies and gentlemen, here you take the payment, you say minus who? Minus this interest. And then, of course, you put the next one, the closing one, you tab like that. How do we get the closing balance? It's very easy. You take this closing balance here, you subtract the principal paid. Remember, balances can only go down by the principal. Interest, in this is what the Islam, in this case, they don't want. Because, you know, interest, I mean, uh, interest, I mean, it's, it's quite uh, a sad situation. Especially when you're charging, in this case, they're quite very high. Like this 18% per annum is very high. All right. So in this case, here we are able to come here and simply say, enter there. So then what I will do, I will simply come and highlight this row. You highlight this row, the first row. And once you have reached there, then you come and hold this rabbit of ours by the tail here. You hold it by the tail. So remember, we have the white rabbit and then we have the black rabbit. The black rabbit is the angry one, is the hungry one. It's angry and hungry at the same time. So the black rabbit, you must always put it in its cage like this. And then what do you do? You double click. When you double click, check whether this thing is amortizing. Come here, simply say control down arrow. If it's amortizing, it should be able to go to zero. If it's amortizing, it should be able to go to, when you see this one showing, it means that the cell is very small. And then you want everything to fit in, then what you need to do is to come here and highlight everything. And then you go anywhere here and double click. You double click. Then you'll be able to get this thing nicely there. Nicely there. So the loan should be able to always amortize to zero. It's going to be 0 0.001, like now this one here. But it should be able to amortize to zero. So before I repeat, assuming, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to know the total amount, the total amount, assuming, assuming I would want to freeze. Eh? Remember, it's very important. I would want to freeze. I would want to freeze row 51. Somebody who watched my video, how will, you, how will I be able to freeze? How will I be able to freeze row number 51? I would want to freeze this row number 51. How will I be able? I've given you enough videos. Freezing pains. To freeze row 51, you will come to row number 52, like that. And then you go to view, view here. So view, you say here, freeze pains. So I say freeze pains. Why am I freezing my pains? So that as I move down, my good students, as I move down, you can see even the line has been drawn. As I move down, now my Excel will move down, but my titles are seen here. So that I can now very comfortably say control down arrow. Yeah, yeah, to 120. So when I'm here, I may be interested in getting a few things. I may be interested in knowing how much is the total amount of paid, total amount paid, total interest, and even the total principal. I may be interested in these three. So no worries, I'll come and highlight this. I will come and basically highlight these three like that. And once I highlight those three, I will simply come and say alt equals. So when I say alt equals, you can see this thing is huge. It will not scale, it's huge. So I need to come here and simply do like that, go anywhere in between, anywhere in between. Double click, it fits. So it means, ladies and gentlemen, that in total I borrowed the, the principal here, which is 50, that's what I, I borrowed. But over these 10 years, what has happened? Interest alone is 17 million. I've paid more. Interest, interest is higher than what I borrowed, All right? So you can see this plus this, total amount paid is that 2 million. So now the question is, mortgages for sure, they are very, very expensive. Before I repeat, mortgages for sure, they are very, very expensive. But now the question is, do you think, in this case, if you're a young lady, because uh, you know mortgages are supposed to be long-term, 25 years plus, 25 years plus. Because if a mortgage is over 10 years, like now, this one, you can see people are paying 270,000. How many 25 years, 22 years, will be able to pay 270? They can't. So for you to be able to have a lower amount, then you need to spread that figure, spread over 30 years like that. So what do you think from what you guys have seen? We borrowed 15 million, interest alone is 17. You borrowed 15, and you will end up paying over 30 million, over 32 million actually. So is this mortgage really a good thing or a bad thing? I can't see you guys discussing, and today we are discussing investments. Today we are discussing investments. 
today we are discussing investments. Yeah, I will repeat, yes, I will repeat, yes, I will repeat. Fahad, very good, at least Fahad has gotten this. Fahad has gotten this. All right, all right. It has its own advantages and disadvantages. The investment is expensive, or well, the investment is not good, get to, get to the saying not good. Esther, not, not bad. It's a bad thing according to Edna. <laughs> Please repeat. Sister Lea, I will repeat. Sister Lea, I will repeat. Great, Mayo. You know, if you are an advanced Excel user, we should avoid using, in this case here, what year? We should try to avoid using the mouse. As you advance in this subject, you should avoid using the ma mouse totally as we advance. As we advance. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you one thing. Normally, what happens with these mortgages, you have to be, number one, very sure. And ensure that you are following all those doctrines of the bank. Don't go for a shortcut. So if the bank tells you that uh, if you are taking a mortgage, they can only allow the installment here to take like 30% mark or 40 talk of 35% maximum of your salary. Don't go back or trying to talk, tell somebody that uh, my income is very small, but I would want you to fix things out. And then you get like the mortgage payment is taking 70% of your income. That is very risky. That's very risky. This thing in this case here, you need to get a mortgage. A mortgage, the longer duration you take, the more expensive it will become. So then what you're supposed to do is to ensure that you have a bigger income. So that uh, if possible, even start telling these guys here, let's double the rate of what here, the rate of paying this thing. If you're to double the rate of paying this thing, ladies and gentlemen, for instance, here, just, just check what is happening here. Just check what is happening here. Assuming, check what is happening here. Assuming, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, assuming, assuming this is what we have here. Assuming this is what we have here. Okay. Great. So assuming in this case here, ladies and gentlemen, we were to do what here? Let me just uh, unfreeze this. So assuming, ladies and gentlemen, in this case here, we were, uh, this thing was really down. Great. So assuming in this case, instead of paying in 10 years, we pay this in five years. We pay it in five years. If you are to pay it in five years, then what would happen? Of course, the installment will go very high, but let's see what is happening. Of course, the number of uh, months now, they go to what year? They go to 60 because of five times 12. They go to 60. So I want to, I'm interested in seeing what happens in 60. What happens in 60 here? So you can see in 60, automatically, of course, it, it continues because I've given a bigger duration. But in 60, it is fully what year amortized? It's fully amortized. And when it's fully amortized, what will happen if I simply come and just delete everything here? All right? All right? And then I come here, ladies and gentlemen, and I get in this case here, for example, my, I know this is a PMT, it's constant. This is what year. So if I say alt, in this case here, equals, what am I getting here? You can see now the, the interest is uh, about half of what I'd borrowed, right? And you can see at the end of the day, I'm now going to pay 22 million instead of uh, that. So it depends on, ladies and gentlemen, really how aggressive are you as an individual? Like myself, I took a loan when I was at uh, 27 years and I was able to do a good house, right? 27 years, all right? And I was able to clear it. You know, it's all about how aggressive are you? If you're able to get money, especially from other sources, whenever you get money from other sources, you go and tell if it's equity bank, I have a million here. And of course, you must read the clauses very well to ensure that eh, they do not penalize you for, I mean, paying earlier. You must always agree with them on that. You'll never get some money because whether you like it or not, if you are taking a 30-year mortgage, whether you like it or not, something will always crop in between. 30 years is quite a long duration. Over those 30 years, you'll be very lucky if you will not have been sacked from your job. Normally what happens, 30 years is too long. So if, they, if you can try to shorten the loan repayment schedule, the loan repayment period, the better, the better, the better. Yeah, the better. So to me, I would prefer these mortgages like 100%. They are good because they keep you 
disciplined. They will be able to ensure that eh, you, you, you are financially literate. Because akuna kitumba, ladies and gentlemen, like having surplus money in your pocket. When you have surplus money, you stay like this, something tells you that, hey, let's go to Blue Post and uh, eat something there. All the way even from Kajiada, you go to Thika. All right? Because you have something. When, for example, even right now, like the mortgage I'm servicing today, because I always keep on taking mortgages, I'm a firm believer of Modigliani and Miller. The one, the gentleman who told us that loans are what yeah, they are good. They're good, even in superior countries, are the superpowers, they're taking loans. Who are nigh to resist loans? I'm telling you, if it were not for the loans that I service, I'm so sure with my salary, because I get a good salary, if it was not for loans that I'm servicing, I would not be teaching here today. It's not a day -back. My colleagues are not uh, doing what I'm doing here. My colleagues are out there having what here. So when you have these great loans here, they help you to be focused in life. They help you to be focused in life. True or false? You know, this is just a hypothesis. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I would rather have something when it reaches like uh, 3 a.m. in the morning. Something in this case here wakes me up very fast. I mean, it's good to be disciplined. And one of the ways, because so many people, I normally do this financial literacy uh, programs for very many organizations outside here, yeah, I can tell you if there is anything that is stressing your employees today, it's financial illiteracy. You get an employee getting 100,000, but every other day, they're at the doorstep of the accountant asking for an advance, an advance, simply because they're disorganized. They've never gotten somebody in this case to talk to them. All right? And you can't blame them because there is no system that teaches people financial literacy. Including our CPA, you will get so many accountants who have never been to anybody's financial literacy class. All right. I strongly believe that financial literacy should be taught to students even from primary school level. It should be a subject. Leave alone bringing it uh, in FM of CPA at the middle level and then teaching it like, I mean, juju. Financial literacy is quite a lot. It involves a lot of what your sacrifices. All right. Like I was telling you this afternoon, you can't be that type of a person who, who goes to a club to pay a bill of 40000 for beer. And those are just your mere friends. No, unless it's something that you really budget. You know, at times you can, it's life. You can budget, like, for example, I'm going to teach these students. The moment my exam students hit 500, then I can go and have, like, yeah, of course, I don't take what you guys are thinking, but I can, go, I can go with a few friends, a few teachers. We do this, blah, 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 blah. Then that one is okay because, you know, it's budgeted. But most of the beers being taken here by many ninjas outside here, it's impromptu. It's impulse purchases. As I was telling these guys in the afternoon, and I saw most of them really laughed. One actually called me. All these clubs, I can tell you, they are set in a way to snatch the boy child money from their pockets. The boy child. Of course, even ladies, of course, they're spending quite a lot. But in most cases, the ones who get highly confused, the easily confusable ones, it is us. You go to some of these clubs, I was told, like in Kilimani, where they even import some people. I don't know where they get these people. Those people must be people grade, eh? high grade. I don't know. So, and they, they're very clever. When you go there around 6 p.m., the music is a bit low. So it keeps on by 8 p.m. This gentleman wanted to go home about 9. Not 9 p.m. So ladies and gentlemen, if there is anything that I would want to leave for you as a, a legacy, it's very important for us to ensure that we are financially literate and for us to do that, among the, among the things that can really, really assist us is to ensure that we are what here, having working with loans. Loans will always make you toe the line like that. And then how do you build up your capacity for these loans? Number one, you must avoid being listed negatively at the CRB. You know, there are people who really get even a very, very strong man. These are men who are clear at intermediate level, others at advanced level. And then they tell you straight away that me kitu ya hustle fund, sirudishi. Sirudishi. Nani pesa ngapi miatama? Kitu kitu kwa jamaa kwa listed. Aha. We should never spoil our credit history. Whenever you listed negatively, 
your records will remain with those guys for how many years? Seven good years. It doesn't mean that you can't get uh, loans. You can get loans. There are banks that are risk uh, that, that have a higher risk appetite. They can give you loans, but of course at a higher rate. All right. But most banks will not give you a loan if you are what year listed. They not to give you. They not to give you. All right. We must also be good in terms of saving. Yeah, we must be good in terms of what year savings here with circles. Yeah, please choose a very good circle. And don't go for those circles that are really overpromising. Like I normally tell most of these circles, if you get a circle paying like 18% return, even 15% uh, dividends and the interests, most of those circles are not genuine. Because if they're giving their members uh, interest at 12%, where do they get this? So if you go like to all these circles, even the big ones, like in Metropolitan, the other day I saw another one, a very, very big one, government owned. All right, being uh, mentioned that it is uh, becoming illiquid, bankrupt. All right, simply because they're giving their members uh, interest rates, rates which are not sustainable. Right, if they're giving their members loans at twelve percent, then how can they give uh, dividend stroke interests for the member deposits, which are higher? I mean, you know, profit should be revenue minus cost. When the revenue, what you're generating ourselves as a circle, is less than our cost, then there is a problem, and that is why most of these circles, just to please the members, are always borrowing from cooperative bank. One of these circles has got over a billion Kenya shillings belonging to cooperative bank. So they borrow at 18% to lend to members at 12%. And that is why if you ask me if there is anything that should be fought uh, uh, on these circles here, it is this thing of directorship. Director should not really be like appointed by who? By the members. Because you know they want to please the members, and then they end up giving something that uh, is not sustainable. All right? So you get like most of these circles are going down and down and down. But if you get a very good circle, and I don't want to, I mean, mention circles here, you go and do your research. All right? If you get good circle savings and the credit cooperatives, they really, really help some of us. Now, let me get back. Let me get back. Students have asked me to repeat. Let me repeat this. So that would mean straight away I go here back. I did that big, big blunder here. Actually, I should just start from first principles here. Yeah. Did a big blunder here. Did a big blunder here. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, we have something very nice here. What do we have here? We have a loan. How much are we borrowing? This shit doesn't look very nice. So how much are we borrowing? Let me work with a, a, a small loan for a common monoengine. So a loan of 5 million. A loan of 5 million is what we are going to work with. All right. Number of years are how many? No E. Number of years. Aha, uh -huh. I'm trying to see some loan that I took here. So we have here uh, interest, interest rate per annum. Interest rate per annum. Most of these banks now are upwards of 18%. Some have gone to 20%. Now, then they want us to give them, like now here it has to be number of months, no? So how do I get number of months? Very easy. I'll be able to come here and say equals. I pick this five years. I say times 12. Because well, they are 12 months. Then we have interest. Interest in this case here per month. So it will be this 18%, I know it's for a whole year, and because these are monthly payments I'm making, divide this by 12, which gives me 1.5%. Then from there, I will do a loan amortization schedule. So this loan amortization schedule, I must have time. I must have, in this case here, opening balance. Opening balance. Then we have in this case here the PMT, how much is being paid. Then we have the interest. Then we have, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, great, I can see very good uh, contributions there. So, of course, after interest, we have the principal.
principal, principal, the principal amount. And then after that, we have in this case here the loan, closing balance. So we have the closing balance. So closing balance. So of course, uh, I would want these words to be seen. Like now this doesn't fit. So if it doesn't fit, we don't do what some students do. Like you get a student dancing around with this. No, you simply come and highlight the whole thing and then double click anywhere. So you can see it is opening up very nicely. So time I'll have to begin with zero here, but of course I skip and use the sequence. Now I can see a number of months of mine are 60. So I'm using the sequence. So equals sequence equals sequence like that. How many rows are we talking about? 60. You say enter, then come and add zero there. So first of all, I would want to know whether you guys have reached where I have reached. Have you reached where I have reached? Because now I'm repeating in a way that everybody should be able to understand now. Yeah, this reducing balance, this reducing balance done. If you repay over a short period, yes, very good. Time value of money. Live in big cities, however, it uh, depends on the mortgage. Maureen, great, I've seen, very important. There are also tax benefits. This is Veronica Lady, very good. It's not a good investment. Others are still saying no. This is advantages, very expensive. I can car RCM Kidogo for two more months. At the Kwasa was I did. Mortgages are bad, mortgages are good. For properties that appreciate, yes. The formulas I'm repeating now. Having one for the road, we shall overcome. Good human being, we shall overcome. True. You're right. Very true. Great. Alternative, like you now, Muru, perhaps it could be a Muslim. Rate per month. Thank you very much. It's constant. I drink occasionally, we shall overcome. How do we get uh, interest per month? Lori is asking there. Make it a percentage, okay. Somebody is saying a more simple there. Mention a circle. Why can't we amortize per annum? It's because, Sherry, we are paying this thing on a monthly. Do you pay your loan, Sherry, on a yearly basis? That bank must be very good for you. Mimi Sipati, PM is 0.015. Sawa. Ah, you get it now. So Sipati PM is 0. Because I thought today is a class for just advisory, but I'm happy to see that there are students who are willing to learn. Look at this. What did I do to get this interest of the I took? You see, 18% is for a whole uh, year. You divide a year has got how many months? 12. If you wish, you can change this to percentage, of course. But I don't want to change the percentage. It's a kind. All right. Number of months, what did I do to get number of months equals, I pick the number of years, I pick the number of years times 12, times 12. Because you see, for number of months, how many months do you have in a year? 12 months. So we have got five years, number of months will be five times 12. It's giving me 60 like that. Now, after I, I do this, then it'll be very important for me to come and create a column here for PMT, for PMT. You see, like, ladies and gentlemen, I normally mentor my students very well. You see, like I told all these advanced level students here to join this exam, they never joined it. And uh, I'm so sure that they are passing the exams because I'm seeing what is happening at the marketing centers. So you can imagine, like, you know, the students who have done exam, and you're going to be in the same BDA class with them. You will never catch up with those guys. Maybe you need, you need in this case, here to hop onto a, a horse to be able to match them. That two weeks difference you've been around, moving around, moving around. It's a big, big thing, trust you me. Fortunately, you can pay for the videos. You keep on now watching the videos for the whole week. All right. All right. Now we are getting this PMT. How do we get PMT? PMT is payment, eh? The monthly payments now, the PMT, the installments here. Very easy equals. So we have the PMT tab. You know, they tell you, to, they give you what to do here, the rate. So the rate here is rate per month, interest per month, comma. Then we have number of periods. Number of periods. How many months are we talking about? 60, comma. 
Then we have in this case here PV, present value is the loan amount. And remember this loan amount, never forget, it has to be negated negative, huh? because you're looking at this from the perspective of what year, from the perspective of the bank, then you enter. These are in square brackets, they're not a must. So this ninja will be paying about 126. Time zero, just record the closing balance alone. Time zero, you record the closing balance. So here we have this one. Yeah, we have that one. Time one, the opening balance will be the closing balance here. Use tab, PMT. I know the PMT, come and say equals. You pick this one and then you say F4. You see PMT is going to be constant. Yeah, I'll look at the charts again. I'll look at the charts again. PMT is going to be constant. So if it's constant, I know you know the concept of dollarizing. We must dollarize this. We must, must put these dollars here to show that this thing is constant. Then you come and say tag. So from there now you come and give us the interest. The interest is always pegged on the opening balance. Interest is always pegged on the opening balance. So you say times the rate of interest, which is the rate of interest per month. And remember, this rate of interest per month will not keep on changing. I need to dollarize it. Anything that doesn't change, dollarize it. Dollar, dollar, dollar is the heaviest currency. Once you have, in this case, a dollar with yourself, even how you move, I mean, it's in a slow uh, uh, fashion. Yeah. So in this case, anything that is constant, it should always be dollarized. So you come here and dollarize this like that. You go to tab. So from there, we ask ourselves what is the principle. Very easy. I know that the PMT that I'm paying today covers the interest and the principle, the interest and the principle. So in this case, what we have here, I will come and pick this one, and then we say minus the rate of interest like that. Then you go to the tab. You go to the next one here. How do I get closing balance? Closing balance can only be reduced by the principal payment, by the principal payment like that. Question then come here, you highlight the whole row, and then you come here and then beat this up. You beat it, so rub it, you beat it from behind, two strokes of the cane. And then, of course, you'll be able to straight away go to the last month to see whether this has amortized. It has amortized fully. I can see there are bigger numbers here. I will not be scared at all. So I'll come there. I will be able to do like that. All right, great. So do we have anybody whose loan amortization schedule has amortized? Do we have anybody? Yeah, the sequence is because you do not have a, a good uh, Excel, current Excel 2021, and I've given you a solution, Moses. Have you seen my name in the winning team? Terra, I have not seen your name, Terra. Which winning team is that? Which winning team is that? 18% divided by 12. Dollar rise. Somebody has answered you there. Repeat PMT, I'll repeat. Fahad should give us the secret. Yes. PMT, that will be a negative. Why? I'll be able to answer you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now, you see this PMT? <laughs> I find quite negative. I'm you ignore the negative, but the very best, the very best, this PMT, let me repeat PMT. Come and say equals PMT. In this case here, tab, open brackets there. What is the rate? It is monthly rate. You say comma. From the number of periods, there are 60. Number of periods, there are 60. You say comma. Now from there, you come and there, get this present value, which happens to be this 5 million, isn't it? But remember, it's a loan. Normally, this loan has to be put here as a captured here as a negative. It has to be captured there as a negative. If you don't do that, you'll always be getting a negative answer. So to get a positive PMT, we are missing something. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Let me repeat. Let me repeat. I must have taken this wrongly. So the rate is this one. We say comma. Number of periods, number of months are those ones. We say comma. The present value, so we say minus these 5 million, then we say enter, we are getting that figure. So have you now seen how I got that PMT? We start from there. Have you seen how I got that PMT? 
Okay. A good discussion, yeah. These financial lectures we give uh, uh, the, the discussions here to our students for free. Like, you know, today I've discussed mortgages. Tomorrow I'll be bringing in the issue of what year money market funds, and then we shall be able to finish with the, the government bonds. If you are here and you're my student and you are earning some income and you don't have any government bond, when I meet you next, Dakuchuna, serious, Kabisa, I want a government bond at 50,000, at 100,000. Yeah, so I mean, I'm going government bond, and that's not going to Not unless you're a Muslim. No Muslim, they don't believe in interest. Interest to them is Aram. Is Aram. And to some extent, I agree with them. All right? It's very, very, uh, you know, Muslim is about uplifting one another. So if you give somebody Shylock money at 20% per month, this guy will never pay that money back. You will have to go and take his uh, assets. All right? All right? All right? Great. So the gentleman, please come here. Listen. So in many cases, I've gotten students in this case here who tell me that who, who come to the bank, who go to the bank, I mean. And then they tell now the banker, like they asked us last semester, they tell the banker that now we can't pay this amount here. Please increase this for us. So there's no problem. So make this 10 years. So if I make this 10 years, then what happens? What I should do is to come now. You know, it has moved now from 60 to 120. Now I need to come here. I go here to where we have the 60. You must have seen your bank doing this. So you come here. So now you see it has not amortized now to zero. Now you see when you are here, you will come and say equals sequence. Sequence, I can see it. It is there. So rows, I want to move from 60 to 1. So and I want 60, 60 extra rows. 60 extra rows, comma. So columns, I don't have in this case here. Or rather, I can say just one column. One column. I say comma. Now you see why I was moving all the way to this because now we have start. Now I'm not going to start from zero. Now I'm going to start from 61. 61. You say comma. How many steps? It's one step at a time. One, two, 61, 62, 63. One step at a time. And then I should be able to just say enter like that. So this thing has been able to continue. So once I reach there, then I should be able to come and uh, hold on to this like that. The last one here. And then I hit this tail here like that. What I do like that, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, exactly, it's a genius. Don't even know how these young men now can marry a lady who does not know Excel. Don't do that. Now, Excel is life. Especially when I'll be teaching you, like, how to do Excel with Chat GPT. I mean, you'll understand the point that I'm putting across. You can see it's one tonight as amortized. All right. So, you can see, for example, ladies and gentlemen, here, a loan that we took. A five million loan that we took, if you increase the duration, do you know how much you'll pay my young friend? Do you know how much you'll pay my art equals? Let me come here and just make this bigger. Make this bigger. So you'll be able to see we borrowed five million. We have paid interest alone is 5.8 million. Interest alone. But you know, at the end of the day, your house is also doing what you're pre appreciating. Your house is also appreciating. Ladies and gentlemen, it is 1057. I think I've done, I've done enough. I've done enough for tonight. So if you don't mind, I would want to close this meeting. If is asking whether a master's in finance is viable, what I normally tell my students at this juncture, the CP and B Corp that you've done is enough for accounts. All right, change. So if I were you, I would consider MBA, data analytics and robotics. Right? Unless you are somebody of my age who does not want many new things. So if you don't want many new things, then you can do that MBA, finance, M-commerce. But I'm telling you right now, if there is anything, even from, because I run an audit firm, I run a company, certified public accountants, most of our clients nowadays are giving you data. They just don't want financial statements. They want data analysis. Data analysis. So if I were you, already I have a you know, CPA is really the epitome of most of these accounting courses. Once you've done your CPA, I mean, most of this is you're repeating yourself. Now branch out and do data analytics. Where you'll be taught in this case here, Excel. Actually, I've already started uh, teaching you guys Excel very well. If you remember like some of the things, yeah, if you remember some of the things, if you remember some of the things I'm teaching, ladies and gentlemen, I'm teaching you a high 
I'm teaching you high level Excel. It's Excel that you can't even get anywhere easily. You can't get anywhere easily. Let me just show you something here. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. You know, actually, let me just work with this. This could even be much better. The Excel that I'm teaching you guys here, by the time you'll be finishing Excel, then you get outside there, you will become very serious data analysts. Very serious data analysts. Myself, Excel has taken me to places that I would have never stepped into if it were not for Excel. Now, I don't know whether there is anybody who has watched this video on Flashfield. Is there anybody who has watched this video on Flashfield? Flashfield, Flashfield, Flashfield. Flash so you hire somebody, you tell somebody very good instructions. When these people are coming here, let them write, or rather write their names like this first name, different cell, another name, different cell. But all these ninjas has come and he has put all the names on one cell. So perhaps you only want the first names. So then what do you do? You'll be able to come here and you say, in this case here, I mean, you type Joshua. You type Joshua like that. And once you've typed Joshua, you have uh, said here control, in this case here control enter, to be left there, then you should be able to flash fill. So to flash fill, filling this like a flash flood, you simply say control E. Control E, the one that we have here, control E. So you can see this thing has been able to pick one, 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 one. Now come for example here, you can see there are others that are small kids as useless accountant who is mixing up. And maybe I would just want to uh, show. You see, you want to show a case. I can't start with this red because red is okay. So I have to come and, for example, this is where we are spoiling. So I come and write this very well. And this Excel is beautiful, it is able to sniff. So I say control enter. And then it doesn't matter when I say control E, it will be able to flash upwards and downwards, both ways, control E. You can see what it what has done. Now, everything in this case here is there in a proper case, proper case, purple. <laughs> control Z. Now, at times, ladies and gentlemen, you get yourself, you know, so this thing is still under development. It's an AI tool in Excel. So you may come and see like, now see what this pink, how, how it is written, this is in a bad way. So I may want to correct this. So to correct this, I'll come and tell it ping the normal way. Then I say control enter. And then I'll be able to say control E. Now you can see, uh, this one has, I don't know. I know why it came like that, control Z. I should have uh, put this as capital to confuse it. Capital P, like that. Great. So then I have here control enter. And then we have in this case here control E. So you can see in this case here, I've really confused it. It's giving me some things correct. But there is this BB, blue, O, O. So I'll only correct one, and now it will be able to sense just one of them. So come just here, and then you just delete these, and even that one, and then you write B proper. You write B proper. And then you simply say enter. It will be able to, I mean, even correct this orange. Enter. C. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. This thing. Excel. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I even don't imagine why you guys are not watching those videos that I'm putting for you there. Those videos are crazy. They are crazy. They are crazy. They are crazy. They are good. So can we, ladies and gentlemen, then, I mean, where we have reached, and don't call me tomorrow in the morning five. Today I have to sleep. Today I would want to sleep properly. So can we say bye-bye? Have we done something nice? Have we done something nice? Great. Have we done something nice? Have, we, have you enjoyed, guys? Have we enjoyed? Great. Thank you very much, Jared. Great, great. Thank you so much. <laughs> you slept all the way. <laughs> Who is this? Slept on oh, slept on the way. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tara. We shall overcome. B. Thank you. My first time I've enjoyed, Doris. See you next time. It was nice. Please ensure that you are making RCM your best college. Continue in this case here. Marketing us out there. Good night and bye. Good night and bye.
RCM Babalao. That is the best. I'm going to write like that on Facebook. RCM Babalao. Thank you very much. Bye.